found a solution for my bathroom um, tripod. I'm using like one of those like car driving like ones that you put in your windshield solutions. Anyways, um, I am actually like putting myself together to go to the gym. I know that sounds stupid, but like I need the motivation and I also just want to put myself together and I need to go to the gym. So um, I'm busting out a new one of these um, because I like stock up whenever they're on sale. QVC does a lot of um, really good deals. That's when I got the last like two with a brush for like $40 or something insane like that when one of these is $40 stuff is so good you guys i've been using this for so long like i can't even probably like six five years six years honestly like that long it's so freaking good um i was using it all through when i lived in japan and i just really love it so if you have not tried this you guys this is obviously not sponsored or anything um it's just freaking amazing and they've come out with more shades they also have like a luminous one and they have a one for oily skin but since i had arlo my skin is not really oily anymore it's more just kind of normal um so yeah and then i also want to update you because i don't know how many people watch my um vlog before well, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I'm trying this niacinamide from Tony Moly on. If you can see, I have melasma quite bad on my forehead. I've always, well, I haven't always had it. I've had it probably for the past, um, gosh, I feel like when I took out, I had an IUD, um, like my young adult life. I have one now, but either way, I had an IUD my young adult life. And then I would say probably when it started to end that five years is when I developed this, which I think is kind of normal in terms of like hormonal uh, melasma and stuff. And then when I had Arlo and then also when um, the sun comes out and I'm exposed to sun, I the, it comes back even more rampant. And then I have this little age spot and I have some slight over there. It happens with pregnancy, hormones, all that stuff. I could get it like lasered off and I might actually have to because I've tried so much. I've tried retinol. I've tried um, every vitamin C you could possibly imagine. I've pretty much tried it except for skin SkinCeuticals, which I might try next, but it's just so pricey. Um, but I wanted to try this and see because I love Korean skincare and I just wanted to see if this does anything. So I'll keep you posted with that. Um, but what else was I getting at? I don't know. Basically, that's just like what I like. It probably one of my um, biggest like skin concern right now but it honestly doesn't matter doesn't bother me that much because this stuff covers it like crazy and so does my tart shape tape so this is nice because it has spf in it um and then this is nice um just because it adds like extra coverage so the sps spf will help like it from getting worse but what i will tell you is if you're struggling with melasma is be careful and use a physical sunscreen and not a chemical sunscreen you need physical like a mineral sunscreen to cover to prevent against dark spots it physically has to like cover your skin um like a chemical sunscreen is gonna like help you from being burnt and stuff i'm not like a I'm not an esthetician but um that's what my dermatologist told me so i'm using um i use this guy right here which also has niacinamide in it, um, and it's really freaking good. It's got a little bit of a tint to it, nothing crazy, but um, really good. So, I mean, sunspots, age spots, melasma, all that comes from obviously hormonal changes, and then, you know, going to college in Florida, I did not SPF who, what, yeah, and now I'm 30, so <laughs> that's what happens. Anyways, I just wanted to take the time. Oh, I can link these down below too. I'm obsessed with these cups. Um, I got everyone them for Christmas, my family. They're the outer box ones, but I like them better because they have a better lid than the Yeti ones. I still love my Yeti, but for different reasons, this one's good for coffee. Because if you're a mom or you're just like really busy, you know that like when you pour a cup of coffee, it definitely goes cold before you actually get to drink it. So anyhow, I'm going to finish with my makeup. You don't need to see it because you've seen it a billion times. Just doing a light look today, basic, every day, but I just wanted to share with you how much I love this stuff. Um, okay, bye. Okay, so 
gym outfit. Finished my makeup. Like I said, I don't normally wear makeup to the gym, but I'm feeling like I needed to get myself together. So I have this top from Amazon. I wear this all the time, just in different colors. I wish they came out with more colors, but it is so good. It's like a sports bra tank. It's so nice, so buttery soft. And my Lululemon aligns in submarine. I feel like it's not focusing on me and it's focusing on the bright windows behind me. Come on, come on. Anyways, I probably should use my camera, but um, yeah. And we're feeling a little fluffy today, but we're gonna go sweat it out in the gym. I also wanted to share with you, I just bought a pair of these um, oh, on sneakers. And I like them, but they're too big. I went with a seven, I think. Yeah, I went with a seven because I was like, I don't know, I feel like my feet have gotten bigger. Um, but I need a six and a half. They are a little, I would say, like, just a little too big for me. And I don't know if I love the color. I kind of do. I don't know. Um, but I love the, like, feel of them and everything. I just need to get them in a smaller size. Um, and thankfully I have not worn them out, but if you do wear them out and you don't love them, they have a 30 day like money back guarantee or something. That's why I was like, it might be even 60. So I was like, I'm just going to try them and see how I think of them because I needed a good like walking running sneaker. Um, so yeah, that's that. I also wanted to show you a Miss Weenie, um, this picture that I think I was talking to you guys about. I got the wrong frame, <laughs> size frame, but this is basically it. It's really, really cute. I thought it came with a frame. It doesn't, so it's pricey for not coming with a frame, but it's cute. Um, it's just the coordinates of where I said yes in Cancun. So that is that, and it's gonna go right over there. Plant is getting, it's like out of control how big it's getting. I feel like I need to take some more of these little guys off. And if y'all struggle with little, um, like plant gnats, um, there's this stuff, you can see it right there, the stuff that you can put in that's like a bacteria that like kills them, so, or like wards them off, I don't know, it's awesome, so, anyways, that's that, so, let's go to the gym. Sorry, I kind of like went off on a tangent here. But anyways, I just feel like life is like truly about balance. If you want to succeed at your goals and your, um, and just like being happy overall in life and, and making your lifestyle achievable, it has to be balanced. Like it cannot be where you, you know, restrict yourself and set these things for yourself that like don't bring joy to your life. Like <clears throat> fitness and your lifestyle should be, achievable and attainable and healthy and if it's not you really need to assess it and it's easy when you feel like you've fallen off the bandwagon to be like I need to go hard I need to not eat carbs this week I need to and I'm not saying I'm like that but like I need to you know work out two times a day and you know do all and it's just like no you need to ease yourself back into it you need to remember why if it was that you fell off the bandwagon it wasn't like you know a snowstorm and in covid and all that um if it was just because you just stopped feeling motivated to go to the gym you need to assess the fact that like maybe i just wasn't making it fun enjoyable and obtainable like attainable for me to continue sustainable sustainable not attainable sustainable um and if life happened give yourself grace and just pick up and keep going you know it's I don't know. I think it's truly about balance and the people I find the most motivation of don't like get on Instagram or YouTube and be like, oh, I fell off the bandwagon. I need to get back on it. It's like, yeah, get back on track, get back on to where you want to be, but really assess why you fell off track to begin with. And for me, I know why it is. It's not because I was, you know, making something unattainable. But for instance, like <clears throat> my fiance was like, let's not drink for two weeks. And I'm like, and then we found ourselves on Sunday, like, or Saturday, just wanting a beer with lunch. And it's like, it's okay to do that. And I don't think you need to cut anything out of your life for a period of time, unless you obviously have a serious problem. But like, it's okay to have balance. Just don't drink five drinks a night or two drinks a night. Have, you know, balance it. Figure it out where, where that is for you. But don't just cut something out of your life because you think it's bad. Because I've, honestly, I feel like, maybe it's not for everybody, but you end up, wanting it more and binging it once you get it back. So that's my two cents about balance today and really making sure that you're you're finding that balance in all aspects of your life. Fun, discipline, like I'm totally all about setting goals and all of that, but also just like 
let's be realistic with ourselves and let's also like not set ourselves up for failure because we just give ourselves these crazy goals and think that like <clears throat> if we don't achieve them we're not working hard enough or we're not disciplined enough or anything like that like you know I don't know that's my two cents for the day okay I'm gonna go home now I need a protein One shake more thing. I need to tell you guys if you don't um i typically my gym mix by the way is childish gambino i love childish gambino he's my gym like when i need to feel like a boss he's what i listen to um but uh and also like drake pops on there because i have like the pandora whatever it is and um i think i miss spotify more but anyways i'm just trying out pandora because i hadn't tried it in forever anywho um, what was I saying? Oh, Childish Gambino. But then when I was listening to Childish Gambino, other people, like other artists show up and Lil Dicky showed up and I love him so much. I feel like he's the white version of Childish Gambino. They just sing about the most random things and I love it and they're so awkward and cool. I love them. But if you haven't seen Lil Dicky on Hulu, you should watch it. It's freaking hilarious. Obviously it's for mature audiences and maybe you don't like that humor, but me and my brother are obsessed with that humor. It's so freaking funny and his rap is just hilarious. So, okay. That's it. I Bye. also forgot to mention, ooh, this lighting is not too bad, um, that it's supposed to rain. Today's Monday. It's supposed to rain on like Thursday for like a week. So I'm going to spend as much time as I can outside over the next couple of days. Um, so it's 11 now. I am going to go for a little walk with Winnie today because we haven't been since, I want to say Friday. I don't remember, but it's been a little while. And now that everything's cleared up, there's absolutely no snow on the ground or anything because it's 61 degrees out. I'm going to take advantage and get out as much as I can before the rain comes because I am somebody who thrives off of good weather and sunny weather and being able to walk outside and listen to podcasts, which I'm going to start a new one today, which I will share with you which one I start today. Oh, no, no, Bebis. Um, I start today, but oh my God, that guy just ran a red light. Oh, okay, anyways. Oh, <clears throat> I've been sitting here editing for like what feels like forever. All those passies on the, the, the crib. But anyways, I feel like I've been editing for an hour now. Getting hungry. It's 1.30. Scott just ran to the gym. So I think I'm going to take a small little break. Since I don't need a video up today, I can get a video up actually tomorrow. Um, I think I'm going to grab some lunch and show you what I'm going to eat for lunch. So yeah, let's go do that. All right, let's make some lunch. I'm using my regular camera, which isn't the greatest if there's not like really good natural lighting, but my other camera is uploading footage. So we will just have to make it work. So anyways, um, I wanted to share with you kind of like some things that I'm eating today, not a full like what I eat today. Um, but I don't typically eat breakfast. It's just not something. I mean, I will if I'm hungry, obviously, but it's not something that I normally do. So this morning I've had my coffee, um, and then I had a protein shake with peanut butter when I got home, which you guys saw. And now we're going to make a little poke bowl. So let me show you what we're going to need. I have to pee. Does anyone just like have to pee so bad that they just like don't go until they're like legitimately gonna pee their pants? Me, me, me. Um. So, what we gonna need? Random stuff. What are we gonna need? Random stuff. So Scott prepped a lot of this um, yesterday. So I won't need to do a ton of things. I'll just need to compile it all. Just bomb. So let's do that. I'm just taking everything out and figuring out what I'm gonna do. I'm 
me to pee my pants. Probably. Let me go pee. Okay, so I'm not gonna have just straight rice because I wanna bulk it up with a little bit of greens. So I'm gonna do that as well. Ooh, I forgot I had a bagel. Bagel thumb test. Okay. I think I have everything I need to do and I'm just gonna combine it. Yeah, I think I have everything. Perfect. Let's do this. So obviously, I mean, your poke bowl can look however. I'm gonna make it in, in here. So I'm gonna take a big old bowl. I should probably like show you a video clip of me actually putting it all together. First, I'm gonna pick out some kale. Oh, some of this lettuce is like going really bad. So I'm just gonna pick out a couple of really good greens and kind of like shred them up a bit. And this is just gonna bulk up my bowl so I don't need to eat as much rice, but obviously I'm still gonna eat rice, but just so I feel fuller. Um, a lot of poke places around here do that. They'll do like a bed of, or like half kale half baby kale with half um, rice. And so, yeah, I just tend to really like that. I don't know, I don't know. So I just like my bright, or my um, lettuce like not full, I feel like it shredded a little bit. So we're gonna do that. So we just have a little bowl of greens. Like I said, this, these greens are pretty much going bad, which is a total shame. But because, you know, of the power and everything, we just lost some stuff. So, anywho. I keep saying anywho, anywho, anywho. <laughs> um, now we're gonna put in some rice. So I'm actually gonna warm mine up a tiny bit. So Scott already made, pre-made the sushi rice. So I'm gonna take a small bowl and heat up just a little bit. Super sticky. You obviously don't need sushi rice for this. You could use anything. I'm gonna use a pretty hefty portion because I do plan to um, go on a walk later today. I'm gonna work out today. So we're gonna peel this body. Throw that in for 30 seconds. Like I said, just to warm it up. And we're gonna put on some of these fermented um, seasoned cucumbers that I got at the Asian market some regular cucumbers, some radish sprouts, some ooh, avocado, um, spicy tuna, a little bit of regular tuna. Spicy tuna is just regular tuna mixed with sriracha. Um, some fish eggs. This is ikura salmon row, salmon eggs. And then some salmon, some green onions. <laughs> Seems like a lot. And some soy sauce. But, it's not I'm also gonna do some rice seasoning as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pile this. Let me kind of like zoom down so you can see. Okay. Ooh. All right. So I'm gonna plop in my rice. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. I'm gonna go in. Also, wrap your fresh fish, like if you got sushi eared fish, in a paper towel before. You wrap it in saran wrap or put it in a Tupperware because if fish sits in its own juices, it goes rancid quicker. Just so you know. Okay, fun fact. It's got to that, obviously. I'm gonna use our fish cutting knife. And we're gonna just go ahead and cut some cubes for our poke bowl. Now this obviously isn't regular, just schmegular old tuna you get from the market that's frozen or not frozen. This is like sushi grade salmon. So make sure it says sushi grade. You can get sushi grade at Whole Foods. I think you can get sushi grade at, I mean you definitely can get sushi grade at like an Asian market, places like that. There's a special prep to it. I don't know the whole logistics, but I just know it needs to be Sushi so grade if you're gonna eat it like this, so. Okay, 
So we got our salmon in there. Next, I'm gonna go in with some of this spicy tuna. Like I said, I think he just put like um, togarashi, which is like a seven Japanese spices or Asian spices, some Chinese spices, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not gonna put in regular tuna because I think I have enough meat over here. I'm gonna put in a couple of radish sprouts. So I'm just gonna pop that on there. These are just really peppery and add like a really good like bite to your dish. Um, we're gonna go in with some ikura. Some people don't love this. I'm not some people. I really love this. <laughs> Mm. It's very like fishy, oily, but really good. Okay. What's next? Green onion. I'm trying to make this pretty, but I'm actually just starving that I really don't care that much. I have imitation crab, but I don't think I'm gonna use that. We're gonna go in with a little bit of fresh cucumber. And we're gonna go in with our fermented cucumber. I'm gonna take a little bit of that juice too. And use that. Okay. Then, what's next? Oh, avocado. Which this avocado, I literally just used it last night. It's already like getting gross. So, that sucks. Okay, so I'm gonna take, just do a couple slivers. So avocado, this will keep me probably full until dinner time because it's quite a bit of food. It's like a lot of fat, a lot of protein, a lot of carbs. It's a lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot of everything. <laughs> Anyways, and I don't know what we're having for dinner tonight, so. Probably the same sort of stuff so we can use it up and it doesn't go bad. Um, okay, the avocado. And I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna put on my Thing. I'm gonna top it with a little bit of furukake. This one's the salmon one, I think. Oh no, this is bonito. Okay, and that is my beautiful um, poke bowl. I'm gonna top it with a little bit of spicy mayo. Um, and then a little bit of um, soy sauce, not this, soy sauce. <laughs> this is my favorite soy sauce. It's so good. Okay, anyhow, yay, lunch. Kinda dug in, but this is what that looks like. I'm having it with a green tea. I'm gonna watch, ooh, ooh, hello. I'm gonna watch a little bit of 90 Day Fiance. I might watch the whole thing, haven't decided. And then we're gonna take a walk. I think I just need an editing break. Um, like I said, today I don't need to put a video up. So I think I'm gonna take a break and edit some more tomorrow, um, depending. It's like 1.40 now. So depending if I wanna watch the whole thing and then go for, we'll see. I'll keep you posted, okay? I'm gonna eat this delicious lunch. What you making? Ooh, this is a Spicy tuna hand roll, double stuffed. Yeah, triple stuffed this is. It looks like Sorry. a boutonniere. Did you ever have a boutonniere, you know? Mm -mm. What? No. Well, it looks like a boutonniere. If you were a boutonniere, Scott, that's the one you would wear since you do sushi. Winnie's, do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? So after
after our walk, I literally got back on my computer and started editing a ton. So it's now 5.30. I'm going to pick up the little pulse nugget. So yeah, that's pretty much my Monday. Um, productive, trying to get a lot done. I have a lot of footage and a lot of more YouTube stuff than I, typically I would do more house stuff, but um, YouTube's taking priority because I haven't done like any filming, editing videos in a hot minute for y'all. So I'm trying to make sure that I have pretty consistent footage um, and videos coming out for you guys over the next, you know, well, back to normal anyways, like forever, you know? <laughs> but um, yeah, that's pretty much been my Monday. I do want to take a bath and finish watching the rest of um, 90 Day Fiance because I haven't finished. Ooh, so bright. Okay, okay, who's she? I broke out my denim jacket with all my pins on it. I'm obsessed. I need to like, I got a new denim jacket while it's coming and I think I might switch and reassess my pinage. But anyways, 